So I was searching through a drawer the other day for a cable, and whilst I didn't find the cable I wanted, I did find this, my old Huawei P20 Pro back from 2018. And that got me thinking, this is a fully portable computer with a battery, Wi-Fi, modem, NFC, screen, Bluetooth, just sat in a drawer doing nothing. And by that point, I'd completely forgotten about the cable I was looking for, and instead all I could think of was, how could I put this to better use? So for the past couple of days, I've been researching ideas for old smartphones, and here are my 10 favorite. So the first thing I tried is using it as a webcam. Now, depending on the model of the phone that you have, you can usually do this via USB or even Wi-Fi. For my testing, I used an app called Droidcam. All I had to do was install the app on my phone, install the client to my PC, link them together, and it was as simple as that. As long as both devices are on the same network, it should just work. What I like about this setup is it gives you the flexibility to move the camera into any position and not have to worry about cables. There are a couple of apps out there that do this for free. A common theme with these apps is they're usually free and then you have to pay to unlock advanced features, such as removing watermarks, upgrading the quality, things like that. So next up is using your phone as a GPS tracker for your car, van or motorhome. Now the cool thing about this one is you probably won't even need to install an app because most Android phones come with a Google Find My Device feature built in. Just make sure it's turned on in the settings, the phone being tracked is logged into your Google account and has a data plan. To maximize battery life, remove any unused apps, disable unnecessary connection features such as Bluetooth and NFC, and you can even pair it with a power bank. If you want slightly more customization, there are paid apps out there that allow you to do things like geofencing and setting notifications. But for me, the built-in option does the job. With it being native, I expect it's the most power efficient method too. Keeping on the theme of security, you could use your old phone as part of a CCTV system. There's a free app which I tried called Alpha Camera. Now this works in a very similar way to Yuffie Security and Ring. And if you upgrade to the full version, you get options such as playback history, longer videos, and even motion detection schedules. Now it's probably not the best idea to set your phone up outside permanently for this kind of setup, unless it's fully waterproof and can be mounted suitably. But it could be a great option for monitoring your house or your garage whilst you're away, or you could even point it through a window to detect motion outside. As this will use your camera to detect motion, it should work quite well, unlike some other security cameras which rely on infrared to detect motion, which doesn't work very well through glass. If you don't fancy using it as a security system, why not use it as a baby or pet monitor instead? There are loads of apps out there for this, but I used one called Simple Nanny. It was just a case of installing the app on two devices and telling it which one was the monitor and which one was the camera. With this being a baby monitor app, there are loads of options like noise detection, notifications, and even the option to play lullabies. Like most stuff nowadays, this app is subscription-based, but there may well be free alternatives out there. Given the potential sensitivity of this one, just be sure to read any privacy policies and reviews before choosing an app. So we've covered keeping an eye on the little ones, but why not keep an eye on your PC as well? There's an app out there called Remote System Monitor, and as the name suggests, this allows you to monitor your PC's performance and temperatures wirelessly. Just install the server software on your PC, set up the connection, and away you go. If you make a small donation to the developer, this will remove adverts and also unlock a feature called Dashboard. The dashboard can be filled with widgets and is completely customizable. For me, this is something I could use whilst playing games on my PC to keep an eye on temperature and performance. Speaking of gaming, you could always use your old phone as a dedicated gaming machine. Retro gaming is something I really enjoy and there are loads of apps out there on the Google Play Store that can help you to achieve pure nostalgia. If your old phone can be connected to a TV and it's just a case of adding a Bluetooth controller, installing some emulators, adding some ROMs and you're all good to go. Many people swear by RetroArch as it's an all-in-one emulator solution, but if you just want to keep things simple, there are plenty of individual emulators out there on the Google Play Store for you to try out. It doesn't just have to be for retro gaming either. If you have a PlayStation or a gaming PC, why not use your old phone to access things like Steam Link or PlayStation Remote Play from another room? Now, if you're looking for ways to improve your productivity, look no further than the Touch Portal app. Touch Portal can be linked to your PC wirelessly to create single touch buttons to do things like launch applications, websites, or basically any input you can imagine. I found this handy for editing shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, although it could be useful for any kind of editing app. I think it'd also be really useful for streamers as it can essentially turn your phone into a stream deck to control software like OBS. You can also use it for media controls or any application that has shortcuts that you want to make easier. 
So the next cool idea I came across was using your old phone as a dedicated dash cam. And this can be done by using a app such as Droid Dash Cam. While you technically could just use the camera app built into your phone, apps like this offer extra features, such as loop mode to allow continuous recording without running out of space, automatic night mode, as well as collecting location and speed data whilst recording, which could be useful if you needed it for insurance purposes. There was also a feature on the app called G-Shock, which automatically locks any clips from a deletion if impact is detected. You can also set this to auto record when detecting power or Bluetooth devices. So you could basically configure this to auto start when your car does. Something else you could do is turn your old phone into a dedicated VR headset by pairing it with a VR headset that's specifically designed to mount a phone. This can be used to watch VR videos such as YouTube and it can even be used to play VR games when paired with a PC, though this might require some fiddling to get it working. Whilst the experience obviously won't be as good as using a dedicated VR headset, this is a good way to get a taste of a VR experience at a fraction of the price, especially if you make use of something really low tech like Google Cardboard. And finally, if you're a content creator on a budget like me, you could always use that old phone as a B-roll camera to get secondary camera angles. Like that. Right, so that's my top 10 creative ideas for an old smartphone. If you found any of those useful, please let me know in the comments below. If you can think of anything else for an old smartphone, share that as well. I'd be interested to hear. Thanks for watching. See you next time.